To improve in Fortnite, you need to be focused on improving. So today I'm going to show you the best routine for improvement in Fortnite. Timestamps are in the description, but before we hop into the routine, let me thank you for clicking on this video. It means a lot to me, and you're going to want to watch to the end, because this routine will change the way you play Fortnite. The first step of the routine is to work on mechanics, and to do this I used Realistic Peace Control by Ken Beans. This map has many different scenarios similar to those in a real match. There is a free build section, editing section, pre-fire section, and my favorite section, the speed piece. While I show you these different parts of the map, I will explain why you need a routine to play Fortnite. A routine will get you in a habit of repetition which leads to improvement. Without a routine, it is hard to focus on what you're improving on. The three main things you should focus on while making a routine is mechanics, fighting skills, and game sense. These three things are essential to becoming a good Fortnite player. If you put them in a routine that you practice regularly, you will improve vastly at Fortnite in just a couple weeks. You can always improve on these things no matter how much you play, and there will always be something to learn. Now let's move on to the second step of the routine, which is fighting practice. For this, you can play a number of different maps, but I prefer Speed Realistics by Ken Beans. These maps help improve your fighting skills, which is necessary for success in Fortnite, and you should spend a lot of time in your routine on this part because it is the most important. Doing this in a routine will increase your confidence in fighting and in real matches, and it will allow you to get more kills in tournaments. Anyway, enough yapping, here is a quick fight. Now for the third and final step of the routine, which is to play a ranked match and key everyone possible. This will improve game sense and give you fighting practice in a real match. Alright guys, so we're landing campsite like I usually do for ranked. And if you want to see why I land campsite, then check out the video in the top right corner because that shows you guys how to rank up super fast and easily. Let's go ahead and hire this guy. Alright, now that we're looted up, let's go ahead and go to the storm tower. The shockwaves. Ooh, perfect, we got the burst SMG with the laser, which is the best mod for the burst SMG. Let's farm up some mats so we can go up the storm tower. Alright, now that I have max wood, let's go ahead and capture the storm tower. All you want to do is build one layer around it and make sure there's a roof above it. Alright, the boss is spawning in, so we can go ahead and kill him as soon as he spawns in. And as you see, he spawns inside of our box, which allows us to kill him way easier. It's like we're having a down in the sky. Alright, all these guys are dead. And we can go ahead and easily get the storm tower just as easy as that. And you can pretty much get the storm tower every time with this method. Alright, it looks like the next zone is over here, so let's go ahead and rotate, and if we find anybody along the way, like I said, if we see anybody, you probably want to key them as long as you know that you can probably beat them and if the storm's coming or not. And there is a player that he marked up there. So let's go ahead and key him. Now that we see that he might be low or something, we can go key this guy. We can even get that jump on him since we know where he is and we can just camp up here. So as soon as he shows himself, we can just spray him. So for some reason he's boxed up down there. But I don't think it's a good idea to fight right now because there's no one nearby and there's third parties nearby. So let's go ahead and actually we might fight this guy. If he edits out and he's in the open, we're going to kill him. All right, he's sniping. Looks like there's two people here. Which is not a very good thing because it gives him a third party. Let's tell a guy to follow so he doesn't get sniped. Let's see what is going to make happen here. Looks like he's sniping us. So let's go ahead and move on to the next zone instead because we're not in the next zone and we need to get our cash for more heals. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get him before anybody else does, but there are a bunch of builds around. 
So now that there are players nearby, and I just got shot, so let's go ahead and lock it back. One. He's marked now, which is good. So he's a big pot. You can see he's healing up. Probably ate a slurp fish or a shield fish. Now let's use our ultra vision thing to go ahead and see him. And looks like there's another kid coming here, which is actually not good at all. We're just gonna stay up here. This is the kitchen from earlier, I think. I'll just shock these out, try to chop them at the same time. And as soon as they're done fighting, we can go ahead and kill them. So I gotta follow. So they're probably gonna damage each other and try to kill each other. Which is exactly what we want. Look, they're fighting each other right now, so we can push in. I'm gonna grab this stuff real quick, so we can have more mats in the fight. You can see them fighting up here. So let's get height on top, so then as soon as they're done fighting, we can go party, and then it's like that guy died. I can see him. Hopefully my guy marched again so I can see him. He's directly beneath me. I'm trying to spread a little bit to see where he is. Looks like he's still in that box right there. And he has a shotgun out to try to pre-fire me. Let's get it up another layer. It's like he's trying to build up now. Alright, we can see him, which is exactly what we need. Oh, almost like we can him now. But since we can see him, we can just use shockwaves to pretty much get a, some guaranteed damage on him. Looks like he's getting down, he's dropping. For some reason, the mark didn't last as long as it usually does, but let's just stay on height for now and make sure we don't get sniped. Probably gonna be back in the old stuff where he killed the guy earlier. It looks like, yep, there are snipers, people sniping. So as soon as the guy marks again, I'll try to push him again. But we have to watch out for kind of the snipers. Island spawned in. Now that he's marked, we can see another kid down there camping. Let's go ahead and spray on him. Just shoot him a couple times. Let's hold out our map, our thing, so if I get chopped, we know that if we're getting chopped, we can throw a shot for you. Okay, so I'm not gonna go low. So let's get back out here again, so they can let these two people fight. Because now that he knows that I've run away, he might start fighting now. Alright, we can see both people. It looks like he chopped like I thought he would. As soon as I heal up, I can go ahead third party then, and then we'll, we'll probably die. Oh, there's another kid nearby. So I thought I heard, thought I heard another kid nearby. There he is. Looks like he's over there. And this is a big fight, so let's try to go get, get our heals again. Try not to reveal our location too much, because there's another guy right here. Oh crap, I'm almost dead. We gotta really get out of here. Let's hide it. Let's go get heals in this building. That fight is gonna get really a lot of people there, which is not what we want. Let's use all the heals we can get. And let's try to rotate onward to the island. Oh, it looks like the island's already captured. We gotta go to the next zone. Alright, it looks like no one is nearby. So let's go ahead and move on to next zone so we don't have to rotate. And we also need to form up some mats. Along the way, so let's go ahead and rotate toward middle of the next zone, which is right there. It looks like there's a kid right here. I'm really low, so I probably shouldn't try to fight him on one snipe. Let's block her back, please, to make sure they're not sniped. I would like for him to open up. Looks like the other person's coming now. Medallion. This is my map out. And I got sniped. Okay.
That was the best routine for improvement in Fortnite. If you want to rank up fast, then click the video in the middle of the screen. Subscribe for more Fortnite tips. Jesus loves you, and I hope you have an awesome day.